Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Shanley Davis. I'm a pediatric endocrinologist that works at the Children's Hospital Colorado and the University of Colorado Anschutz Medical Campus. Here we have the Extraordinary Kids Clinic, which is a specialty clinic for children with XXY and other X and Y variations. So I'm gonna go over some of the most common questions that I get asked as a pediatric endocrinologist who takes care of a lot of boys with Klinefelter syndrome. So the first question is, what exactly um, are the hormones that you need to measure and when do you need to measure them? So um, the hypo, hypothalamic pituitary gonadal axis, it's a big long word that we often just refer to as HPG axis, isn't even active until true puberty starts. The brain starts sending signals to the testes to tell them to start making testosterone. And this is when the start of puberty is, is really initiated. This can happen anywhere from age nine to 14 in typically developing boys. And we see the same onset of puberty in Klinefelter syndrome. However, as puberty progresses in Klinefelter syndrome, the testes can't keep up with the demand for making testosterone in the rest of the body. And so the brain starts sending out signals louder and louder. Those signals are called gonadotropins, or LH and FSH. And we can measure these hormones in the blood. So once puberty starts, the doctors should start to evaluate both the exam, how the body's changing over time, as well as what these labs are, are looking like in the blood. So LH, FSH, and total testosterone. It's the relationship of those labs that really make a difference when deciding um, when and how to consider starting testosterone replacement in boys with Klinefelter syndrome.